What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Space Engineers, a early access Steam game that is best described as Kerbal Space Program meets Minecraft. And, you know, a lot like Minecraft in space where you're building spaceships, okay? Um, I, I really like to play these games survival mode, but I'm going to just show you guys... Um, creative mode just like minecraft because it's you know easier to show like, stuff that's going on here um let's just do a quick start um i like to figure out there's a lot of videos on youtube showing you guys how to play this game i pretty much figured out everything on my own i i like to i like to do that that's kind of like my research i'm uh geeky that way i guess but uh, I'm going to start looking at YouTube videos because there's a lot to learn in this game. All right, here we go. You know, some of this stuff's already built. Now, obviously, if I started out in survival, none of this would be built. But we got some spaceships here. But pretty much you start off with nothing. And the object of the game is to... Actually, there is no object, which is part of my problem. But I'll, I'll touch on that later. But uh, let's bring up our inventory here. Oop. Let's, uh, all right, let's put some tools it down here. But, uh, basically, you know, like Minecraft, you want to mine. Like so. And you can see we got these chunks going on here, and we can pick them up. And we bring them, and what you want to do is find, um, ores, I guess. Different ores, and bring them to... There's our nuclear reactor, that's what powers everything, our refinery. Now this is equivalent to the furnace in Minecraft. And, you know, here we have stone, but, you know, we're looking for gold and nickel and platinum and all this other kind of stuff. And you can fly around to different asteroids and find different minerals. Now, once we have that kind of thing, we can... Um, oh, let me get in the right spot here. Back to the refinery. And, you know, we, we, we make it, we put it, make it into ingots, and then, like so, put it in there, assembler, and here's our assembler, and from there we can make all kinds of parts. Mainly for spaceship, you know, we got guns and thrusters, and... You know, like here, if we look at uh, the antenna, we need some iron ingots, some silicone wafer, and some gold ingots. So we'd have to find all the ores to make all that stuff, and then we'd find an antenna. And, you know, here's a missile turret. You need all this stuff because you need, like, metal plating and, and so on and so forth. Now, I, I, I know I said that the the... There is really no gold in this game, though. There, it's just an open sandbox world. Um, you know, there's no dragon to kill. There's no aliens to meet. Um, and it's just... Uh, you know, I feel that... Uh, I guess there, there needs to be a little bit more. But it is pretty fun. It's got a great start. Let's just uh, build a new small ship here. Just kind of show you guys how that all works. Now again, if this was survival, I would have to find all the pieces, find all the ore for this, and actually get out my welder and weld these blocks together. Oh, and there goes. <laughs> There goes, there goes my spaceship. Because there's no gravity. Attaboy, genius. All right, let's. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's let's uh, let's build another one here. Let's put this one on the ground. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to build something real simple here. Oop. 
Alright, what else do we need? We need some thrusters here. Uh, the controls in this game are pretty ludicrous, too. I mean, they are just... I, there's like a button for everything. There, there should be no reason you need so many buttons to do something. I mean, you know, there's... It's like we're using the K button and the T button and the L button. Um, there's no reason why that stuff can't be um, mapped to the same button. You know how like uh, certain games it's like you have a button that uh, maybe picks up something off the ground and it also opens doors and it also heals your teammate. It does multi-function things. That's what this game needs. It's every button does one thing and it's I mean I'm used to it now but very annoying. All right, what else do we need? We need a cockpit. I know, I know, I said cock. All right, um, we need a different cockpit than the one that's, there you go, this one we need. All right, we got the cockpit. Now what do we need? We need a reactor. We can see we powered up here and a gyroscope. And I think we should be ready to rock here. Um, okay, let's... Uh, we need our landing gear. We need to unlock our landing gear. Our landing gear was locked to our base here. Here we go. And now I can fly around. Now, obviously, I just did build something as cool as what that is. Uh-oh. There you go. Or this uh, red ship... But you guys get the idea how to make a ship now and how, I guess, you know, the work it would take to build something like that. Whoa. All right, I'm going to try turning this thing around and just do a crash and burn here. But, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the game. Now I could go around and, uh, you know, back to those asteroids again. Now, I don't need a ship to fly to these asteroids because I do have a jetpack. But the ship actually makes everything easier. Because you can kind of make a portable base here. But you could fly to this. And see that that color there? That is... That was iron ore. And each asteroid has usually one or two different uh, ores. You know, minerals to find. And you want to drill them, collect them, bring them back to your base, refine them. And create, create, create. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna crash this thing just for the fun. Man, this uh, I, it is hard to control. Not the, not the the game doesn't isn't hard to control. The ship I built is hard to control. How about that? It's just floating everywhere. Oh my god, I am completely failing at crashing, guys. The funny thing is, when I don't want to crash, that is when I'm wrecking shit left and right. Oh, it made me so mad. And then, like, okay, check this out. Like, you can just get out of your spaceship, right? And, oh, let me turn on that. So, okay. Oh, oh I want the jet back on. There. And, like, you know, there's no gravity. So, like, there goes my spaceship. And when you're in survival, it's like there's, like, just no getting it back. Like, I was, uh, I thought the thing was on an asteroid, and I kind of put a lot of hard work into a sp <laughs> I wish I had a video, because I was mad. And the thing just floated away while I wasn't looking, and I could not find it. Because, like, there, I mean, like, look at how fast it disappears. I had no idea what direction it was. It was just gone. And, you know, gone forever. Lesson learned... You know, obviously I was able to make it back to my spaceship with my uh, jetpack, but the the ship was lost for good. But, uh, yeah. And, wow, look at how far I went out of here already. See, as you can see, the uh, using the spaceship is way faster than the jetpack. 
but you know I'm gonna leave it there guys um, check it out great game I, it's it's the start of a great game is it something you need to buy it now you know you can have a couple hours of fun me personally well, I think if you're the right if you really like to create if you're the type of person that plays a game like Minecraft to create stuff you like to build and get creative then you could definitely build a kick-ass uh, spaceship I like to have a little bit more objective in my game that's why if I'm playing Minecraft or something like that or rust or something like that I like the um, survival modes and there's just not enough going on in survival mode to keep me occupied but again, hopefully they... I have faith that they're going to make this game really cool. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. Check it out. Genius Pie Trap. Over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard.